So we're against the LeBlanc. We've got an Aphelios on our team. Yumi was banned. What do we want to take here? Oh, we'll do the spooky Janna game into this. Why not? Uh, we might take exhaust hit. Someone needs exhaust down here. And we'll do... I think we'll stick with Aerie. I don't want... I don't think I want to do a hardcore uh, aggro build here. I think we're going to play a more, a more passive Janna. I can already hear the cries of Janna one-trick ponies going, No, you got to do Comet all the time. No, you don't. Uh, Aphelios is taking Cleanse. Um, we'll keep the Exhaust. No, we won't. we go heal, because they've got Revitalize. Okay. Alright, so there's a few things we could do here. I don't think there's any point going... I was about to say we could maybe go Macaws, but if we've got Cleanse on Aphelios, that should be fine. Shouldn't need to diverge all of my gold just into that one item, just for him. I think everyone else should be generally be fine against uh, like a random Leona. Oh, it's the only real CC they've got on their team as well. Uh, so what we do is we'll do probably Ardent first this game. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be able to harass the Le Leona until like five. But then after that, I have to give great strides of um, respect over to her. Also, I do need to be careful a little bit of a Q flash. Also, I won't be able to throw out Qs either. It's just going to be... My Q is just going to be purely to disengage from a Leona. So, we'll see. Um, they have no heal bot sign. We've got the complete different summoners to them bot side as well. Misfortune with Exhaust. We've got Cleanse. Leona with Ignite. I've got Heal. But, um, yeah, we should be okay. Um, I'm going to be mainly protecting the Aphelios this game. And my win condition from my perspective here is Aphelios doing well. So hopefully the Warwick can show his face a little bit. Graves is still going to be a scary champion. I think this is just going to be a really close game. Like both teams are very similar. Many tops, many mid, assassin -y as well. You've got the kind of like front in your face junglers. Uh, the only the main difference this game is honestly the support. The support is like the the biggest difference in the in the team composition because mine is more like disengage, peeling, protecting, and Leona's about like diving in and uh, ceasing one person up. We'll, we'll see which one wins here. Yeah. Like if, if this is if it's all if, this is all if it's like even right like in theory if this is all even it'd be very interesting to see like if the only difference really is the supports what type of supports um would be very interesting to see which one comes out on top I like Jenna now yeah she's my favorite champion basically a one trick pony did you not see one of my YouTube videos. Love it. What supports would you cons should be considered with Aphilios? Never know what to pick. Um, I think he generally prefers Enchanters. Um, if you don't like playing Enchanters and Tanks. He does well with a lot of different things. Um, I think Enchanters are overall for him. They come out on top. Is Warwick still good at high yellow? He isn't played very often. No, he's very good in low yellow because he doesn't have, require that much skill to play at all. But um, in high yellow, it kind of falls off a little bit. But yeah, who knows? He might be a god. And there's still some little tricks you can do with saving the uh, the, the dash blink thing as well. Not, not the ulti, the other thing. You appreciate the support video? Uh, the poppy support video? I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'll definitely be picking up Poppy some of If that video does well, I'll uh, do another Poppy video and revisit her with um, hopefully into a better bot lane. What's my opinion of Karma right now? I don't. I've tried it recently twice with a Dark Harvest build and didn't like it. Um, 
not a champion I'd necessarily recommend right now. I think she's decent in lane, but outside laning phase, I think she's not good at all. Sure, what's so special in that brush? Get out. Good. Good start on the harassment front. This is as, this is like as good as it's gonna get now. That was the the nice chilled out bit. The rest from now on is gonna be. Uh, Aggro. Hi, Bizzle. Probably didn't need to use the heal there. In fact, I didn't need to use the heal. Just didn't know how much hard commit was coming in there. Like, I thought, like, maybe, like, Graves is down here. I was very scared, and I wanted to get the heal before the ignite came down. And hey, Doozy, thank you for the five months. So we're down a summoner, but... We're very healthy down here when we're heading CS. Alright, I need to get like a ward in this tri brush or something. Warwick's playing for our side of the map, so we should be okay right now. He was kind of bum. Graves is top. It wasn't great, but I didn't. I just went over the information that I had going on. MF no potion, Leona only has cookies. As you wish. Leona's wanting to engage like crazy. The longer she leaves it though, the harder it's going to be for her until the next recall. I think we do Emacs first here. I don't, after this recall, we won't be able to do what we're doing right now. It should be a completely different laning phase after the first recall. That's sloppy from me. We still are doing an okay trade here. Ophelios had to use his potion. Tried to get the Q. I think I need to overlap the Ophelios a little bit more here. What was currently trying to do dragon. Swiftly. He should have it. Graves is now bot side. Ow. Graves is recalling. We're about 10 CS ahead right now. Alright. So this is where laning phase is going to start to get pretty weird. Um, I want a fairy charm, but also want a control ward. I think we we'll prioritize the control ward. So we've already got a Drake very early on him. Riven's got priority here. She's going for the Graves. Riven's six. Okay. All right. So now. The laning phase is going to be 
the opposite. A bit surprised that the Aphidus went straight up into pushing this lane in. But it's okay, it's okay. Alright, I'm gonna look to put this control ward somewhere. Nice, we got a fizzle out there. That will help Kane for the next minute for free. Swiftly. Right, I'm just disengaging the MF here. She was too far back to follow up. So it's just Leona going in by herself there. It's got me. Did he flash? I think he flashed for it. Kane could probably get a kill here. <sighs> Needed to hit that. Then, mm, now it might be really bad. Kane died for free. Leona got the kill. Oh, Kane, what are you doing, mate? Leona's six. Aphidios is cleansed. You're fine. Then back off now. MF is currently tanking turret. That was absolutely garbage from them. Gotta shove this in as quickly as possible. We can maybe, maybe get a turret plating here. But we're not doing that. Okay, that's fine. I respect the the res I respect the respect that we're giving them. Okay, so we've got a zero three cane mid, but we've got a two zero top laner. Um I think Kane's becoming a liability. It's a shame because we helped him as well. We invested time into his lane. But oh well, it's the way it goes. Hated a da da dagger face. Jesus, that was a tongue twister for some reason for me. Welcome to the very much. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. And hey, anyone else just joined the channel? Hope you guys are doing alright. Hey Tansy, hello noob. Mad Hutch, hello, good afternoon. Uh, the second Drake for us is coming up, Mountain. So it's going to be Infernal or Cloud. Hope it's Infernal, not Cloud. Statistically speaking, Cloud Soul has the lowest win rate out of, out of all the souls. So Graze is bump. They're gonna do the Drake. I don't know why. Maybe the Warwick feels like because our mid lane is so far behind. Just focus on snowboarding top. I mean that's a totally fine take. I I think just leave it, Kane dude. You have no reason to contest that. Okay, we've got a first turret top side. We might want to start to look in about moving the ribbon around a little bit more. With ease. 
But yeah, I think that's okay. So it's going to be Cloud Drake anyway. Cloud Soul. Then you want that. There you go. Trying to work out like Leona should be coming back into lane shortly. She can't make any plays top because Raven will win that 2v1. I, I I don't I don't think so, dude. No. I I honestly I don't want this Kane to just risk throwing bot side massively. We're we're dead even down here. And last time he kind of tried to make a play bot side, it didn't go so well. So. Could have been really bad. We're good. They'll get another turret plating here. Or not. They didn't realize maybe they're after the Warwick. There's no way they can contest. Because their Graze is top side. It really is roaming around again. We need to put pressure on Misfortune. We've got 50 seconds for turret plating. There's a chance she might just choose to ult this, and if that's the case, then that's a bit oof. As oof as that kind of minion got missed. It's annoying. Uh, well, this is why we don't want Kane down bot side. It's not too bad at overall, I guess. That's a pretty good Q. We're good. That was a really good tornado. Graves is down here now. Mm. I'm not so sure about this, but I can. No. Nearly got Ardent Sensor. Or well, basically have it now. A couple of hits on the turret here would be nice, but that's not going to happen. For Jenna Q, do you have to hold the Q and release it? No, you just, as soon as you press Q and you point the mouse in a certain direction, and, and as soon as you press that, then it, it, like, it starts building up on the spot. And then you can either not press Q and then a fully charged out tornado will go out, or you can tap it again to release it early. But the longer you let it charge, uh, the more damage and the longer the knockup will be. And distance, maybe, as well. Yeah, it travels 25% further. For every second that it charges as well. Why Ardent first? Because I'm not going to be harassing here crazy. Like if I was going some sort of like Comet Jenna build here, then I would want an uh, Athena's and Holy Grail because I'd be consistently building up those charges. But honestly, all I'm doing here. Oh, is a protect the Aphelios build, and Aphelios is doing really well right now, so just want him as strong as possible, as early as possible. This is a Herald for us, I haven't got my E ready yet. Overall, that wasn't a very nice play. It was a bit too deep. Fewer is getting stuff for free top side because of all that. The attention was nice, but the, the play not so good. Yeah, we lost that. 
They're also going to get to uh, another Drake from this as well. So we go even on Drakes. Uh, we go even on Towers, but we used a Herald. And we go down on, on a Drake as well because of that. It's a uh, bit oof. It's because the cane is 0-4. It's, uh, it's our main issue right now. Don't really want to face check down that corridor. Alright, I'm going to go back down to the Aphelios. Otherwise, my Ardent Sons is not going to get much use. Upon the wind. Someone needs to go bot. Kane should. Kane, the uh, 041 Kane should go against the Fuhrer, who's also 041. Makes the most sense. We'll see which weaker player <laughs> comes out on top. Riven's trying to do some stuff here. We can try and get this mid tier 1 though. Trading mid tier 1 for bot tier 1 for their mid. That's fine. Okay, cool. Oh, come on. Kane died already? <laughs> so it seems like we've got the worst player in the game then. Okay. That was decided. As you wish. He's gonna stop dying there. Oh, no, 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 no. I think he was going towards his red buff. Here comes the misplays. Hey, damn, think of 100 bits. Why no Moby Boots? They need it. We need our Aphelios. Okay, maybe we can actually get something here with the cane now. Do I trust him or not? Uh-oh. Okay, at least we live. Thought I was dead. Have some bits, my guy. Opinions on Bojo's speech XD. I'm not gonna go into politics, but thank you for the 100 bits, man. Yeah, it's not my place to speak. But what I will say is, though, I would like, you know, if possible, you know, my son to better get back to school. That's the only thing I'm mentioning on, th on top of that. He's missing out on social interaction with other kids his age, so it would be nice if that would be possible, but that's it, really. What are we going to be doing here? We did have like a really good start on the Drakes and then it's just collapsed since. I thought the Warwick would have extra priority then. We could have been in our own free Drake situation. As you wish. I need to go pair up with the um, the Aphidios again. Was school not uh, cancelled for the rest of the uh, summer? Um, Not officially, no. It never was. It was always under review. W Max is meta at the moment. Yep, I would love to have gone W, but at least three points in W, but I can't couldn't against a Leona. As you wish. I explained it all in during the laney phase. Thoughts on Soraka? She's really good right now, and I'm surprised she's getting buffed again. So yeah. Upon the wind. She's going to be pretty good next patch. I'm definitely going to be playing some Soraka in 10.10. How's Riven coping here? Mm. It's a 
double tornado, but Wow, this cleanup was huge. Fizz is top, so that's a trait. Can we have one person pushing in bot? We don't need everyone on the dragon. Are we going straight to Baron here? Okay. It's just taking a while to get to though. I don't think there's any wards for the Fury to TP to around here, but this is not exactly the fastest Baron. I might have to ult this just for uh, Harden on everyone. We're going to be okay. Alright, good. They'll get the dragon though. That's the trade. So they'd be on three dragons. We'll do um Athens on Holy Grail next. So they still have three dragons. Cloud Soul if it is as Cloud Soul's kinda useless, but I mean it's still decent. It's not the best soul, but it's still a decent soul to have and an extra thing that lasts the entire game. Whereas Baron is only lasting for three minutes. So we better make the most of this Baron then for choosing that option there. That was nearly really bad. Phileas has got red weapons, so he can at least heal up quite a bit here. Honestly, I should have probably been faster to react there. It's too top right now. We just lost Riven. We've got to rotate down to bot. We're going to have a lot coming above us in a second. Alright, we did get tier 2 bot. Okay, let's just reset here then. Got Athens and Holy Grail. Buy a control ward. Now, Baron for two tier two turrets. Not the best. Not the worst. But it will do for now. I will tank this mid wave here for the Aphilios. Wait, or is it resetting? Oh, is it actually resetting? I was expecting a wave to come in here. You sat in your shoes for 30 minutes and you really should be going to the shops. Yeah, but Janna gameplay though. <laughs> what about the Janna gameplay? Three zooming up mid, but there's two on top. Okay, Fizz cocked up. Oh, bollocks. Alright, can we drag out this? I don't want them recalling here. Make MF run all the way back. Good. We got the inhib during that. It's a shame that we lost the Phileos. 
think if he had his cleanse there, he would have been fine. So that's what we were looking for. An inhib. Now we need to try and play it down bot side. We have to play it down bot side because we don't want them to get the cloud soul for free. And that's up in one minute. So that's going to be the next point of focus here. Hey Barry, with the Soraka buffs that are coming on to 10.10, .10, do you think it should be busted OP? Honestly, between me and you, and maybe the other 900 people watching, um, she's kind of, she's definitely on like the extreme upper end of support in a lot of cases, especially in low to mid tier ELOs where people are for some reason think that buying an executioners means surrendering the game. So, she's pretty damn good right now, from the just the pure healing front. Now, the plus 10 damage is definitely something extra nice. And yeah, I, I think she'll probably be the strongest enchanter to play in most ELOs. In 10.10. .10. We've got a contest for this. Riven's got TP. We kinda kinda need that interaction soon. I think I hit him. They got it though. Right, they got Cloud Soul. Baron's up again. Have no wards for this one though. We used them all around that bot side. Okay, he's found their jungler. They're trying to take a tier 2 for it. Don't think we'll catch the Fiora. All right, trading Baron for a tier two. That's fine. Um, redemption. A couple controls. We'll buy a blue pot now. I oh, was still pushing in. Thought we were resetting. Riven reset as well. I think these three should have reset. We're going to lose people, I think, now because of the bad reset. Okay, we're lucky the engage was bad from them. Oh, that's the hex flash interrupted there. Phileos is sh shouldn't be there like that by himself. We can still win this fight though. We lost Kane there as well. Uh. Let Warwick have the kill. The shield's half a HP bar. It's a uh, 481 shield. It's pretty juicy. It's not bad. Currently got 372 AP. We'll go Redemption. I mean, like an. Like, going a death. You know, people were talking about death cap on Nami earlier in the stream. Like, is an ardent 
sorry, is in the Thieves and Holy Grail, Deathcap built Fireball on Nami? No, but it's actually kind of viable on Janna. Like, Deathcap is actually not bad on her. Her, her ratios are actually decent. There's an Elder Dragon in two minutes. Flash, I would cancel MF ult. Yeah, but that also would kill me straight away. <laughs> Just flashing into the team like that would, would kill me. Uh, it's not my job to interrupt the MF ult. We've got Riven, we've got uh, a Warwick as well, Fear. There's plenty of time on our team. Uh, cha champions on our team to interrupt that. Elder Dragon in one minute and a half. In harmony. I need to stay with the Aphilios more because he's not reliable. He doesn't reliably look after himself properly. Gonna definitely have to just babysit him now. Okay, he hit that level 16. That's nice. Elder Dragon up in one minute. Top and hips respawn. Think next fight wins the game. And we've just lost Warwick. Staying alive. Quite some time here though. Let's just slow the Fira down before I died. Come on, Aphilios. Okay, we got four. We can end. I'm surprised we came out so hard on top. Because it didn't feel like it. It's just Graves now. Let's focus the turrets. We don't have to do anything too cocky here, guys. Good jump. GG. Nice. And, and hopefully that gave you guys some insight of, of why I path the way I did that game. Because it wasn't like the standard, I'm Janna with Comet, look at me doing all the DPS. Because... It just wasn't viable against a uh, Leona in that position. So hopefully that opens your eyes a little bit more to the more the slightly more passive play style of Jenna. Um so yeah, and hopefully we can do like an actual aggro comic game soon. Let's have a look, quick look at the damage there. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, GG.